So this topic, I don't want to waste your time because there's a lot of people that they show the topic they're going to talk about and then they show it at the end. We're going to get right into it. So how did I lose 70 pounds, 75 pounds, but let's just call it 70 pounds in three months. I was 245 like this. That's me at 245. And I went from 245 to 170 in this high look. So I did I, I I did it in three months, which is crazy. That's the craziest thing, and you could do it too. So you need three things. You need dedication, and I'm saying dedication because you gotta show up and do your cardio every single day for at least 45 minutes. And I'm not talking about any cardio. I'm talking about intense, crazy cardio on the Stairmaster level 10, 45 minutes daily, seven days a week. If you can't do seven days a week, at least do five days a week. Second, you need a meal plan. You need a diet, carb cycling. I'll give you the carb cycle that I used. It was 100 grams of carbs Monday, 100 grams of carbs Tuesday, 50 grams of carbs Wednesday, 200 grams of carbs Thursday. Friday was 200 grams of carbs. Saturday and Sunday were back to 100. So you get one... Um, 150 gram carb day, which is Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, 100. Wednesday, 50. Thursday, two, uh, two. Friday, two. Saturday, one. Yeah, if that makes sense. And then, uh, so that's two. Uh, there's this video, uh, for, I don't know who said it, but nobody goes and squats 700 pounds being happy. That's just not the case. You gotta be, mentally crazy insane to lift 700 pounds to squat 700 pounds or to deadlift 700 pounds you can't be that average happy person that enjoys life every single day it's how like something has to be wrong with you you know so in my case something was off in my life you know that allowed me to have that drive that dedication i hired a uh, an, a coach so he gave me the meal plan uh, a workout split, but honestly, the main thing is your cardio. You know, after your cardio, maybe you could do your normal workout, which is like chest and biceps, your back and triceps and or legs or whatever split you do, you can do it, but your main focus is cardio. Um, dedication, show up every single day. Your nutrition and your mental state, this, you cannot be right, you know? You cannot be happy, like something has to go, something is wrong in your life. That's what it is for you to be able to achieve those type of results. So I found a video that talks about what kind of mentality it takes for you to go crazy in the gym and to be able to lift 500 pounds. It does not take a fucking happy individual to do this shit. To lift these kinds of weights is not a happy thing. It's not something you do if you are content and happy and everything's going fantastic and your life was fucking wonderful. Okay, it, that's not what it is. You do not try and pick up 800 pounds and fucking and look like you're gonna fucking kill somebody before you do it because everything's fucking great. You do not put yourself through workouts that can cripple you on a regular basis. These workouts can cripple you. They can destroy your back and knees and shoulders. They can fuck you up for life. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's just three things. That's all you need, three things. And if you have dedication, which I'm sure you do, uh, you need a meal plan. Uh, I could just give you mine, you know, I'll, I'll put it down uh, Just click on the on the link at the bottom and you'll see it. It's for free uh, The carb cycle and everything and then third It's your mindset. You need to have this freaking crazy mindset If you want if you need to watch David Goggins if you need to watch C's if you need to watch Ronnie Coleman before working out or if you need to watch your ex text do that just get mad get angry go out there and kill it um and if you need more help and more assistance just throw it on the comments or follow me on ig and send me a dm and i'll help you for free you know like i just want you to get it i just want you to get shredded that's it we're all gonna make it bro so anyways we're at the gym i'm talking pretty fast because i know my camera is gonna die soon i don't know why it's overheating it's not even hot but we're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna hit some biceps and chest, and we got our lovely pre-workout. See bum, shout out. It's the best pre-workout, honestly, in the market at this point. 
I have I tried every single pre-workout out there. C bumps pre-workout is the best. Get the one that has 200 milligrams of caffeine because that's just perfect. It doesn't give you a crash, you know? It actually helps, like, I take it now and I don't go to sleep till like 4 a.m., dude, so. With that said, what is your best pre-workout video that you play before going into the gym? I'll show you mine. I mean, I have so many. You gotta go with a classic, Arnold. Arno is a classic, 100%. Here it is, I'll play it real quick. I didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times. Dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who? I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble? Uh, enough motivation. Let's get in there and get a good ass workout. We're back. The best post-workout meal. And uh, that has a lot of protein, carbs, and it's cheap. I would have to say Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. But keep in mind, if you eat a bowl with double chicken, rice, extra rice, beans, you're probably looking at 1,500 calories. So I don't know if you want to consume that many in one meal. And around 9, I'll do like a protein shake, and that's pretty much it for me. So, And then um, we're going to go home, edit this video. We're going to probably play some Call of Duty. we got to finish this video so you guys can watch it. So we're locking in, baby. We're not going to stop till we get... The goal is to get 100,000 subscribers for now. And I did uh, Flat Bench. I love Flat Bench. I don't go too heavy, too crazy. I go more for reps at this point because I'm trying to get injured. I'm not trying to tear my pec. I just try to be smart and safe at the same time. Just get some stimulus in there. So yeah, man, if you want to lose, if you want to lose, uh, it doesn't have to be 70 pounds, but I mean, you could lose 10 pounds a month. You know, that's a great win. Do your cardio every day, pretty much. That's all That's all you gotta do. Do your cardio every day, go hard, go intense. Whether it's on the bike, on the treadmill, on the Stairmaster, elliptical, it should just go crazy hard. Get as much sweat as you can. Uh, try to burn at least 400 calories in that 45 minute session. 300, it's great, you know, but try to aim for 400. Cause that's gonna make a difference. Cause not only you're burning 400 calories in that moment, but once you step out and once you continue your, your daily routine, you're still gonna be burning calories. You know, you become a 
calorie burning machine right after your cardio and obviously that's gonna put you in a calorie deficit do your cardio don't forget with that said we're gonna go uh, eat Chipotle probably best post workout meal we got so you got your double chicken double rice regular beans you got your mild hot sauce on top you got chips on the side maybe sour cream on the side and that's gonna run 2,000 calories probably, but that's okay with me because I don't, I literally eat like one time a day. So I'll see you guys on the tripod. Let's go, baby. I'm trying to be quiet because there's people upstairs. Grenade out, cover deployed. How the fuck did he kill me, bro? What? I got him with a grenade. Watch this. Go, Matichi. Target sound. Bro, the range on that shit is crazy. Cover That's what I get for fucking camping, dude. Dude, everybody last. Come on, bro. I need more beast.